Hey guys, it's Julie. So some of you asked me, Julie, how did you possibly afford to stay in Europe for a month without having saved up any money beforehand and while you were laid off? Well, I was very budget conscious, but at the same time, I didn't want to sacrifice my comfort and my privacy. I ended up staying in hotels 42% of the time. So before you look at me and say, Julie, that's crazy, I can't afford that, you can stay in a hotel for very little more than a hostel. Let me tell you how. Hotwire is my secret weapon. First, you choose a neighborhood. Travel books come in handy. Usually you'd wanna stay right around the radius of where's the train station or where are the things that you wanna visit. Two, filter by star rating or by user recommendation. Three, if you're a subscriber, check your inbox because sometimes you get extra promo codes. Do these three things, pick a room, and oftentimes you'll end up with a pretty smoking deal. I stayed in London in Trafalgar Square for $110 a night in a five-star hotel. This is my room. Okay, soft bed. Um, right across from... Trafalgar Square somewhere and the mini bar is free. Look at that. Free stuff. And check it out. Cozy stuff. Look at this bathroom. Okay. If you're not already sold on Hotwire, this was what, $112 a night? Pretty smoking. So guys, just to wrap it up, you can, if you get crafty, stay in Europe for about a month on about $700. So give it a try, adjust the formula to your perfect mix, and let me know how it goes. If you like this video and you like these tips, please subscribe to my channel here and watch my next video here. Thanks so much guys. Avida Zen.